So, welcome back. Um, today we're gonna check out uh, uh, the hydraulic uh, press for the injection molding machine and how and where to mount the heat block to it. Um, it starts out quite simple. Uh, we have those two bars down here. If you remove these pins you can uh, change the height of the bars and uh, you have to set the bars to the highest setting. Uh, so just place it up here. Uh, those two uh, little metallic plates you can just remove. You, you don't really need those. And if you've done that, then you have to drill two holes here. And basically you take then a screw and you just place the heat block in between the two bars and you're basically done. So it's it's actually quite simple. Th that was one of the main reasons why I chose this hydraulic press as the frame for the injection molding machine because you don't have to do very much. The most uh, other solutions I saw for do-it-yourself injection molding machines required you to uh, weld your own frame but this frame is perfectly fine. It's <clears throat> very, very stable and yeah, you just can mount uh, the block in here, uh, just drill two holes and you're ready. Uh, the next thing you have to do is take this plunger here. You can remove the whole plunger, just uh, unmount the two uh, wire springs here. Then you can remove the, uh, the hydraulic mechanism and then you can take out the plunger. Then you drill a hole into the end of it and use an M8 tab to uh, make some threads into it and then you can mount the, the end of the piston so it goes tight into the heating block. Uh, that's basically it for the mounting. Uh, what I did on, on my uh, press, I uh, took a, a board of a board of wood, a wooden board, uh, for the pit controller. So I had the pit controller mounted in the corner up right here. And yeah, that's basically it. The one thing I didn't like about this press is that down here, uh, it it wiggles a little bit. Um, I'm not sure if this only on on my model or if is it or. or if it is a general problem, I solved it by just shoving a little bit of wood below this part here and now it stopped wiggling. Um, yeah, that, that's basically it for the, for the mounting solution. It's not very complicated. So we go to the next thing in this video. The next thing is the wiring of the pit controller. Again, um, I'm not sure if you will use the same pit controller as me, um, but wiring is quite simple. Uh, I used a K-type uh, sensor. It just has two wires going into this side and then you have an output, an input for the voltage and you have uh, right here contacts for an alarm. You don't have to contact those. Uh, you can connect those if you want to have uh, <laughs> like a siren going off if the temperature uh, starts to drift out the outside the range you want to have it but I didn't connect those because I don't need an alarm and yeah um, if you use the same heating elements as I did uh, then you have to be quite careful because it's powered at uh, 22 uh, uh, 220 AC and uh, yeah, you, you have to be really careful that the heating elements, the wires that go into the heating elements, yeah, the heating element is uh, this cartridge with two wires going in and those are insulated, yes, but they get really hot, they get red hot glowing and the insulation pulls a little bit back, so you have a small uh, place where you have uninsulated 
220 volt wires next to each other. Don't don't uh, jam a screwdriver in it or you will see some sparks. Also be really careful that you isolate everything very well. You don't want to have the AC power touching the frame of the uh, of the uh, press because the press is completely metal. I mean it it has uh, paint on it so it's not that conductive but you don't want to risk anything when working with AC power and yeah that, that's basically it. If you don't use the same uh, pit controller as I did you may need to wire something else um, but if you use this one you can just use this diagram right here it's very uh, straightforward and I think uh, you won't will have a big problem doing that but still be careful AC power isn't a joke especially if you're doing this in Europe where AC power is uh, double the voltage than it is in America for example. Yeah, that was it for today. It uh, a little bit uh, of a shorter video um, because it's to mounting and wiring. It's nothing much to say, uh, which I'm quite happy about because this was basically the concept for choosing this frame and choosing this controller because it's quite simple and everyone can do it without having a degree in engineering. So see you next time.